cake, must have cake. Chocolate cake, must have cake. This is for Liz's bake sale. Touch it and I'll never make you another lasagna as long as you live. No cake, must not have cake. Must watch TV instead. No cake. Time for your walk, boy? Okay, I'll walk you while the frosting hardens. It'll be safe from Garfield. I think. I want you out of this house now. This second. Sooner, if you can manage it. Meow, meow. You are the most horrible, monstrous, awful creature who has ever lived. And don't you ever, ever come back. You hear me? Meow, meow. Cheap cat food he buys. Chop salmon and styrofoam. Who could eat that slop? I'll find me another house to... Uh oh. There's that cat I've been looking for. Oh no. You're not getting away from me this time. <laughs> Some place to live, little angel? Someone to feed you? Meow, meow. I don't know if we could have another cat in the house. All right, all right. Meow, meow. <laughs> But remember, it's just for a little while, Odie. We can't keep him. Oh, Angel is so cute. I'm sure even Garfield won't mind sharing his food. No, 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 and no! In that order, we are not having another cat in this house. I just know you and Angel will get along well, Garfield. <laughs> All right, Angel, you out of here. Meow, meow. Don't meow, meow me. <laughs> nice one. Good one. I'm not eating this junk. I want chocolate cake. <laughs> Much for dessert. No, I want dinner. Dinner. Oh, all right, all right. I won't hurt 
That's your friend, the kitten. Okay. You know, I hate to admit it, but he is kind of cute. And how much trouble can he be? Hmm, about this much. I didn't, honestly. No, he must have... Garfield, that's slow for even you. Blaming oh. cute little angel for what you did. Meow, meow. <gasps> and my cake? Huh? I told you not to eat my cake. <laughs> How could you? How could you? <laughs> Jad'll let me live here some more. Oh boy, I need a nap. My bed is awaiting me. It's awaiting me with somebody else in it. All right, you miserable. Oh, listen to me, Odie. He's not your cute little kiss friend. He's not. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna love living here. Night drapes. I haven't tried any drapes in weeks. See about little angel. John's gonna blame me for this. Garfield, you're not going to blame this mess on that adorable little kitten. It had crossed my mind. <laughs> I'm beginning to really not like cute little kittens. He's not a cute little kitten. Who's not? Angel. I saw that guy you live with take him home. Angel's older than you are. He is? Yeah. Only cat I ever saw who asked to shave. But he's bad news. Al the dog catcher's been trying to catch him for months. See ya. <laughs> Al the dog catcher couldn't catch a cold at the North Pole. Maybe I can lend him a paw. To Liz from John. Looks like that funny looking guy's gonna give candy to his lady friend. <laughs> he thinks. Now, you stupid mutt. I don't want to throw the silly stick so you can fetch it and get out of here or else. Now, where was I? Uh oh, that cat again. <coughs> the house is yours. Goodbye forever. Uh, isn't this your home? Used to be. But I got a lead on a better place to live. It's a house a few blocks away. A gourmet chef who cooks whole prime ribs for his pets and has all sorts of drapes they can shred. <laughs> and the best part is, he's looking for a cat. Oh, I just hope I'm cute enough. Whole prime ribs, you say? Medium rare. Medium rare prime ribs, drapes to shred. What do I want with this guy? Give me that address. That's where I'm going. I'm Rib here. I am. Let me in. That cute kitty routine works all the time. What have we here? 
A very cute kitten. Meow, meow. Boy, I've been catching stray animals for years, but this is the first time they ever came to the house. You can't do this to me. I'm a cute kitten. I'm a cute kitten. Well, looks like we've seen the last of Little Angel. That is, until we do a sequel to this episode. Never trust any creature that's that cute. They think they can get away with anything. They think... I'll be home in five minutes, dear. I picked up ten pizzas for the party. Meow, meow. Hey, it worked for him. It could work for me. Meow, meow. Why, you cute little kitten. You would want some pizza, would you? stolen millions from the city. Yeah, well, I was never a good man. And right. that you sold City Hall to a foreign country. Yeah, well, actually, it was more like a rent. And that you take bribes, you cheat, you lie every chance you get. Well, if you're gonna quibble over every little thing... Well, I... can you name one decent, helpful thing that you have done as mayor? <laughs> oh, there are so many, it's hard to pick just one. Uh... My little pussy gatto. A dozen of pizzas, none yeah. with the anchovies. Ah, perfect. All right, Odie. Mush. Or mozzarella or something. <laughs> be back later for dinner. Oh, yeah. I may need to rent a truck. <laughs> what do you mean you can't pull a truck? Oh, how I love being so nice to a cute little pussy gatto. Hey, Mayor Grafton, Your Honor, you should pass a law against people not being a nice to kitty cats. Huh? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's my new law. A law against uh, a people not uh, being nice uh, to pussy cats. <laughs> kitty cats? Oh, Mayor, you're wonderful. And there could even be some money in this. <laughs> Here's your sandwich, Garfield. Remember our deal. I make you sandwiches, you take the trash out. <laughs> yeah, another mystery sandwich by Arbuckle. The only man in the world who puts mayonnaise on salad dressing. I called all you reporters here today to announce a new law I've signed. Yeah. It's a law that requires people to be extra nice to kitty cats. Kitty cats? Oh. Now, anyone who is nice to a cat will get a ticket and have to pay a fine. Ooh. I like this law. Yes, and to collect these fines, I've called upon our city's official mad scientist, Professor Bondra. Yes, I have developed a new invention to handle the giving out of tickets. The bionic ticket dispenser. They are robots programmed to detect when people are not nice to cats. They will identify such people and find them accordingly. I'll make them four. I mean, uh... The city will collect fines from lawbreakers, and best of all, everyone will be nice to kitty cats. Kitty cats? Aww. 
That's nice, Garfield, but you still have to take the trash out. I don't do that kind of work anymore. Garfield, you come right back here and take the trash out or else. Ordering cat to do manual labor, $25 pile. Cat, are you hungry? Oh, Moon, agony. My whole life is flashing before me, and it's a rerun from last season. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, you poor animal. I'm going to get you something to eat. Maybe some dry cat food or canned artificial meat. How about some pork fried dumplings or maybe some uh, beef chop soup? Chinese food? Nothing on Earth uh. could make me buy you Chinese food. <laughs> Refusing to feed starving cats, $50 fine. I will be back in 10 minutes. Hello, Pagoda Palace. I'd like to have an order delivered. Crispy noodles. I want crispy noodles. Mm, I should have gotten the Moo Goo Guy Pan with extra goo. can eat restaurant. No, no, no. That cat is not coming in here again. I had to declare bankruptcy the last three times. Taking cat out of all you can eat restaurant, $100 fine. No. Do as I wish. Get away from me, cat. I don't want to get a ticket. Gee, everyone's afraid they'll get a ticket if they're around me. Can't say I blame them. Hey, Garfield. Isn't it cool? Nobody's mm -hmm. mean to us. I mean, People aren't usually mean to me because I'm so adorable. Just what I don't need today, normal. But they're probably mean to you because you're not. <laughs> Garfield, no, don't, no, no, not again. <laughs> Let me guess. Abu Dhabi. Correctamundo. And for guessing correctly, you have won an all expense paid vacation to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Send us the slowest, bumpiest way you've got. Mary's chicken to Abu Dhabi, $500 fine. $500? Oh. Make it six because he's so cute. See? Robots know. <laughs> no, nobody will ever come near me. Not even the pizza delivery boys. And I have to be nice to normal. I have to get that lot changed. City Hall. This is where the mayor has his office. Sorry, no one allowed inside without a pass. Help! Meow! He's being mean to a cat! The security guard is being mean to a cat! Meow! Uh, 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 go on in. Thank you. Oh. Oh. 
best idea I ever had, Sam. The robots are collecting tons, and I wouldn't be surprised if most of it wound up in my pocket, if you know what I mean. I have a whole plan I drew up here about how I'm going to steal it all. <laughs> I bet people would really like to read this. Hey, you give me that fact. Uh, I'll, I'll call you later, Sam. trouble for me, cat. I'm <laughs> gonna take care of you. This treating overweight cat, one hundred dollars fine. Grabbing for the cat, two hundred dollars fine. Threatening for the cat, three hundred dollars fine. Yelling at the line, five hundred dollars fine. I'm not paying any of these stupid fines. Besides, I'm stealing all the money anyway. This was all my scheme to swindle people and to and to <laughs> make up, please. I'm thinking this would not be a good time to plan your re-election campaign. Mayor Grafton has been arrested and charged with being very, very crooked. Told you he was. Nice work, Garfield. I wonder what's going to happen to those robots that give out tickets. I've arranged to have them reprogrammed to do something about your huh? sandwiches. The mess is rendered unfair. It's $50 fine. Corn beef lies too thin. $100 fine. Don't make a lot of space. $200 fine. Cheating the city out of millions? Mm, that's wrong. But making bad sandwiches, that's really a crime. ballet dancing, but do they have to do it when I'm trying to sleep? Very good. Now, time for today's lesson, ladies. Welcome to ballet dancing for mice and other small rodents. Today, oh. we shall cover pirouettes, place the feet slightly about, raise the arms, and leave it slow. I live to dance. Yeah? Well, some of us live to eat and eat to live. Where's Vito with my 11.30 a.m. pizza delivery? Did you ever have the feeling that you were being watched? Good. I have a clear view into the house where it looks like. <laughs> Ballet dancing mice. 11.30 a.m. I'm monitoring the Arbuckle home looking for a proper test subject for my new invention. Bah! The pizza delivery man! The perfect test subject! First, I need to seize control of his mind. <laughs> I must hurry. Mr. Arbuckle's cat does not like it when his 11.30 a.m. pizzas arrive ten seconds late. <laughs> It's working! I've seized control of his mind. 
You hate delivering pizzas. You will no longer deliver pizzas. I will no longer deliver pizzas. Hey, it's 11.30 and 10 seconds. Where are my pizzas? No, no pizzas for you. No pizzas for anyone. Words I hoped I'd never hear. I hate delivering pizzas. I hate making pizzas and delivering pizzas and everything about the pizzas. I will never make another pizza as long as I live. I will never make another pizza as long as I live. Vito, say it isn't so. Throw them on the ground. Stomp on them. Here, here is what I think of pizzas. Down with pizzas. No, no, no. <laughs> at last! At last! I'm getting revenge on that cat for ruining my plans for world domination! Testing a mind control device, unqualified success. I press the blue button, capture someone's mind, then speak into the microphone to tell them what to do. Nathan! Nathan! Oh no. Not now! Mom! I'm working on a plan to conquer and enslave mankind! That can wait, Nathan! First, you have to take out the garbage and do your chores. But, Mom! Don't you butt mom me, young man. Garbage first, enslaving mankind second. Oh, these kids today. Where are their priorities? Take the garbage out yourself, Mom! I will take the garbage out myself, Mom. <laughs> the effects will only last a few days before they wear off. All right, now, let's see if my invention will work on that dog that lives with the cat. Hmm. My invention has no effect on the dog named Odie. I'll try someone else. Wow, he'll do fine. Hmm, it's a little after 11.30. I'd better start making lasagnas for today. You don't like cats. You don't want any cats in your house, especially Garfield. I do not like cats. What could have caused Vito to do such a horrible thing? I can't think of anything worse that could happen. I do not like cats. I do not want any cats in my house. Huh? Especially Garfield. I thought of something worse. <laughs> yes! John can't be serious. John, what are you doing? Where are you throwing away all of my favorite foods? This is a whole box of crunchy poodle doodles. This is the perfect cereal. It's loud, it has no nutritional value whatsoever, and it turns milk purple. From now on, I only serve one food in this house. Raisins. Raisins? Raisin pie, raisin bread, raisin stew, meatloaf, but with raisins instead of the meat. No, no, no. You can't be serious. No, no, you can't be serious. If you want cereal, you may have raisin bran, but without the bran. Which reminds me. <laughs> this still can't be happening to me. <laughs> I can't. I still do not like cats. <laughs> oh, this day is not going well at all. Why does John suddenly not like me? I'm lovable. Or as lovable as I ever was. Garfield Cat. I hate Garfield Cat. Are you Garfield Cat? <laughs> Too bad. I hate Garfield Cat. Garfield the Cat, I hate you. I don't know why I, 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 I just do. <laughs> what? Booty, <laughs> do you hate me? <gasps> do you like me? <laughs> Great. I don't know what got into John. Vito not making pizzas? That's like Vito not making pizzas. No. Hmm. <gasps> the mailman. With my luck today, he's probably returning normal from Abu Dhabi. Postage due. <laughs> oh, what a joy it is each day to deliver the <laughs> Okay, here's what I want you to say. I hate delivering the mail. I'm going to move to Spain and become a beautiful senorita. <laughs> I hate delivering the mail. I'm going to move to Spain and become a beautiful senorita.
<laughs> I can make anyone do whatever I want. Mom, take out more garbage. <laughs> Cody, did you see? He started acting odd after he was hit by some sort of ray from across the street. That's the house where that bratty mad scientist, Nathan. Come on. I must take out the garbage as order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this must be it. Some sort of mind control machine, uh -uh. I guess. Uh -huh. What's this thing? My invention has no effect on the dog named Odie. Of course not. You can't control someone's brain if they don't have one. Let's go back. The effects will only last a few days before they wear off. And back a little more. Testing a mind control device, unqualified success. I press the blue button, capture someone's mind, then speak into the microphone to tell them what to do. Odie, that's the secret. Do you realize what this means? It means I can control the world. I can make everyone do exactly what I want. I can make every single person on the planet get into the pizza delivery business. I can make the governor proclaim every day, Garfield the Cat Day. And I further decree that everyone has to give Garfield the Cat a nice gift. He'll accept cash, checks, and all major credit cards. I can sleep all day, and I can sleep all night. Wait a minute, I already do that. I can make Normal, Drusilla, Minerva, and Aunt Ivy all move to some other show. Yeah, we're gonna go annoy the people on the six o'clock news instead. Huh? I can have the entire planet re-sculptured so it looks like a giant replica of my head. <coughs> okay, so we'll have it orbited by a moon that looks like you. <coughs> all I have to do is push the blue button and talk into the microphone, and then... Odie. We have a problem. I can't talk. Oh? I'm a cat, remember? Humans can't hear me. Except for those people out there. Microphones can't either. No. And I was so looking forward to making the world look like me. What are you doing in my lab? Every time I invent something, you come along and ruin my plans! I just want to rule the world and make everyone my slaves! Is that so awful? Uh, yeah, it is. Well, I won't let you! I'll use my disintegration brain! There's nowhere to hide, Cat! Prepare to be disintegrated! Oh, I don't like the sound of that. control that mind of his if I could give him an order into this microphone, but I can't. But I know who can. We just need to borrow something from across the street. Welcome to belly dancing for mice and other small robots. That would include Nathan. Put your hands over your head, stand on point, then move in time. Music. That'll keep him busy for a few days until the ray wears off. <laughs> What's to stop him from using his mind control device when it does wear off? This. It took three seasons, but we finally got some culture into the show. Oh, yeah. I took the disintegration ray. I thought it might come in handy the next time we have a guest appearance by Anna Ivy. <laughs>
cooking. Oh, hi, Garfield. Huh? You probably noticed I'm not cooking. What? Oh, I will in a moment. It's just that sometimes I like to come out here and look at the stars. They're so peaceful. They're so beautiful. Oh, look, you see that? It's a shooting star. Wow. You know what a shooting star is, Garfield? It's a meteoroid that's entering the Earth's atmosphere. Great, let's do dinner. That was terrific. I wish I'd been up at the observatory watching it through their big telescope. Dinner on the table. Dinner on the table. Dinner on the table. Uh, Professor Bonkers, did you see the shooting star? Yes. A meteor from the Beta Blue Space Quadrant. Oh, radar says it was down to the size of a gumball, and it landed in the North Hills. Beta Blue, you say? Some scientists claim that meteors from Beta Blue have aggressive powers. They say anything that comes into contact with one is turned back into its prehistoric form. Yes, Gertrude. I'm hiking up here in the North Hills. It's very invigorating out here, and I'm having such a good... <laughs> I just found something odd, Gertrude. It's some sort of glowing rock. It's like a meteor or a... night, guys. Maybe lunch at Vito's will make up for it. Works for me. Oh, gum. I can't stand people who chew gum and just discard it and make a mess. Isn't that awful, Garfield? That's so rude. Away! Away, you get out of my restaurant, you pesky flies! All of you! Senor Arbuckle, welcome to Vito's. Thanks, Vito. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Odie, come in and join us as soon as you get that gum off your paw. will have the left side of the menu. <laughs> Excellent choice. Excuse me, waiter. There's a fly in my suit. Oh, one moment, senor. And the right side of the menu. One of our most popular sides waiter, of the menu. there's a fly in my suit. Hold a moment, senor, please. Anything else, Garfield? Oh, yes. The back of the menu. <laughs> one of my sides. I still have this fly in my suit. Senor, can you not see I'm busy with another customer? Tell me, what is a big deal about a fly in your suit? Well, it's rather large. Can we make that order to go? Water the size of a football field. I'm gonna call for help. This is a Vito, a Vito's pizzeria. I would like to report a monster. Thank you. They'll be here in two seconds. One, two. What took them so long? What's this monster you reported? It's a fly. All right. No, officer, it's a monster fly. It's huge and it has razor sharp teeth. Could eat more than I can. 
Prepare the left side and the right side of the menu. Don't forget the back. That's the best part. Garfield, where's Odie? <laughs> Odie! Whoa. Odie! Here, boy! <laughs> I wonder where Odie went. <laughs> Odie! <laughs> 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 This is not a small dog. <laughs> oh, cry all you want. I don't care. I'm a landlord. <laughs> City. Maybe into the countryside. I know. Throwing a stick so he can fetch it? But how will that I get it? Great idea! Puppy dog, wherever you are. Here, boy. 
I don't see why the police were making such a big deal. Catching dogs is easy. They're small and harmless and hey! The other men didn't say anything about rain today. <laughs> about that now. Let's get him home. Hey, there's the truck of that dumb dog catcher who's always chasing us. Don't worry about him. He's too stupid to hurt you. He's a real man. <laughs> It's supper time! A personal sized pizza for Signore Arbuckle, a puppy dog sized pizza for Signore Puppy Dog. <laughs> and a Garfield sized pizza for Signore Garfield! Hey, I distinctly recall ordering a large. Oh well. Bon appetit, Pookie, my gastronomic friend. <laughs> Look at that cool yum, teddy yum, bear, yum. Dad. Eat your pizza before it gets cold, Jack. <sighs> oh, that was a nice, tasty pizza. On the small side, but tasty. Oh, what a shame, Pookie. You haven't touched your pizza. Well, we can't let it go to waste now, can we? <laughs> Boy, Dad, that's the neatest looking teddy bear I ever saw. I wish I had one like that. Really? You think other kids would want one? Sure. What's that, Pookie? Oh, now you're hungry. Well, I guess we'll just have to order another pizza then. Hey, I remember you. Arbuckle, right? How much for the teddy bear? Uh, I'm sorry? The teddy bear. I want to buy it. Oh. What? Uh, no, you can't have Pookie. No, 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 no. Not for all the lasagna in Italy. I'm sorry, Mr. Allwork. My cat uh, loves Pookie. And, huh? well, I just can't take him away because your son wants him. I don't want to keep it, Arbuckle. I'm CEO of Allwork Toys, a very large company. I want to make duplicates of it and sell them around the world. Here's how much I'll give you as an advance. Are you allowed to have that many numbers on one check? Uh, Mr. Allwork? You have a deal. Pookie is going to be a bestseller, Arbuckle. You and I are going to make a bundle. Hear that, Pookie? I always knew you were destined for greatness. What's that? You want to celebrate with five more pizzas? Well, if you insist. We'll have that duplicated and returned to you in no time. Take good care of it. Here is 
Yes, the original. What did you call him, Pookie? Well, we measured and studied every bit of him. Here is the duplicate prototype we have created. He's... he's perfect! No, it isn't. Kids today have computers. They want high-tech, state-of-the-art. Does take the original back to Arbuckle. Professor, I want you to upgrade and improve this toy. You know what to do. Indeed I do. I shall give you ten days of the future. are setting new oh, records. Right? They just went on sale this morning and already thousands have been sold. I'm going to be rich! <laughs> and I'm going to be even richer. I bought commercial time in this news broadcast. Oh, Fluffy, why do you just sit there all day and do nothing? Are your children bored with their teddy bears? I sure am! Well, here comes the teddy bear of the future, Robo Pookie. I think you should see this. Robot Ruby is your child's very own private entertainer. You definitely shouldn't see this. Stay in here until this is all over. To me or not to me? That is the question. This is awesome, Mr. Allwork. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the original Pookie. Does. Let him have the one I brought. Here you are, sir. Huh? Hi, <laughs> I'm Robo Pookie. Who wants to play with me? <laughs> Two playmates with one brain between them. And it takes batteries. <laughs> I've had enough of this imposter. <laughs> the nerve of trying to improve on the real Pookie. Except no substitutes. Each one has a computer chip to download software updates and to communicate with other robo Pookies. It's great, Mr. Olwork. I can't imagine how anything could go wrong. Just trying to help. Huh? Oh, oh, no. ah! oh, oh. Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's 4 hours 6 a.m. in New Delhi, India. It's 2.36 in the I've been trying to get people to treat me like that for years. I will follow the wishes of the Grand Poor Bear. Great. 
The Grand Forebear says he wants you to let us get some sleep. As you wish, I shall remain here and bask in the greatness of the Grand Forebear. Fine. You stay there and bask while we go back to bed. I cannot keep your glory all to myself. Attention, fellow Robo-Pokey. I have found the Grand Forebear. ringing the doorbell at this hour. We are here! We are the Specs! I command you all to follow me and the handsome cat. I got a call that a lot of Robo Pookies were being returned to my factory. But Dad, don't toys you make get returned all the time? Yes, but usually they don't march in by themselves. <laughs> They're all coming back. Every one of them. Every one of them that we made and sold. I'm gonna have to give refunds on every one of them. Does that mean I'm not rich? You'll be lucky if you can afford a yo-yo. Huh? I, I should never have gotten into this pookie business. I like mine. That's the prototype we made, the one that didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm glad I have it. Why, what do you do with it? I don't know, just love it, I guess. <laughs> well, at least I made one kid happy. And I guess I realized what I love about Pookie. He's a lot like me. Yeah, he doesn't do anything.